Let's turn to our attention to Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11. Really part of us, Tom. I would like to read a couple of stanzas. Maybe I'll read the uh, uh, first 13 verses. Reading in English. Then there was given me a measuring rod like a staff. And the summon said, Get up and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship in it. Leave out the court which is outside the temple and do not measure it. For it, it has been given to the nations and they will tread <clears throat> underfoot the holy city for 42 months. And uh, I will grant authority to my two witnesses and they will prophesy for 1260 <clears throat> days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire flows out of their mouth and devours their enemies. So if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this way. These have the power to shut up the sky so that rain will not fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every plague as often as they desire. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes out of the abyss will make war with them and overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city, which is mystically called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. Those from the people and tribes and the tongues and nations will look at their dead bodies for three and a half days and will not permit their dead bodies to be laid in a tomb. And those who dwell on earth will rejoice over them and celebrate. And they will send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God came into them and they stood on their feet. And great fear fell upon those who were watching them. And they had a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. Then they went up into, the, uh, went into heaven in the cloud, and their enemies watched them. And in that hour, there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. <clears throat> uh, everybody knows this uh, 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 up to chapter 11, I think. Well, part of the Valare Prathan Prathanya or Egin or Postavana, other day Padanamate Athiam Tente Chile Waking Lana Mulu, each other Patamatiaidle. Some of which are in the chapter 10, um, Apostle John was given a scroll to eat and he ate it, and uh, um, uh, uh, it uh, made his stomach bitter, but in his mouth it was sweet as honey. And uh, it was told that you must prophesy again concerning many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. <clears throat> Chapter 11, uh, we are almost coming to the half of the book. Chapter, in this chapter, we are told about three things. The temple, two witnesses, and the seventh trumpet. We know that uh, the 
judgment of lord jesus christ or that's the judgment god is sending into this earth um it starts with the the seals then trumpets and uh, then after the trumpet when the seventh trumpet comes uh, again seven uh, bowls judgment and then in between there are other judgments uh, we uh, so there there were seven peals of thunder the the thunders said something and uh, uh, probably that's another judgment but um uh, john was asked to do not write those things um so in chapter 11 we are uh it, it's, it's uh, we are told a little different thing john was asked something to do yohanan apostol na kayile ഒരു ദണ്ട് പോലെയുള്ള ഒരു ഉപകരണം കൊടുത്തിട്ട് തന്നോട് ഒരാൾ പറയുന്നു ഗെറ്റപ്പ് ആൻഡ് മെഷർ എഴുന്നേൽക്കുക അളക്കുക ആൻഡ് ഹി വാസ് ടോൾഡ് ദൻ ദർ വാസ് ഗിവൻ മീ എ മെഷറിംഗ് റോഡ് ലൈക്ക് എ സ്റ്റാഫ് ആൻഡ് സമൺ സെഡ് ഗെറപ്പ് ആൻഡ് മെഷർ ദ ടെമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ മന്ദിരം അളക്കുക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു നമുക്കറിയാം ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ മന്ദിരം മന്ദിരം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇസ്രയേലുമായിട്ടുള്ള ബന്ധത്തിലാണ് നാം പഴയ നിയമത്തിലും പുതിയ നിയമത്തിലും പുതിയ നിയമത്തിൽ നാം നാം ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ മക്കൾ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ മന്ദിരം ആണ് നമുക്ക് കാണുവാനായിട്ട് കഴിയും സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ആൻ ഓൾ ടെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇമേജ് ദ ടെമ്പിൾ you know that when israel israelites were coming out of egypt in the wilderness god asked them to make a tabernacle it was a tent it's a tabernacle lord showed moses in the mountain how all this uh, uh, how this tent will be pitched and all and all the instruments in it uh, and uh, they made the tabernacle and then when they went into the promised land they actually david want to build a permanent structure for the lord uh, for his lord a temple but he was told not to do that but solomon his son made the first temple and that was there for some time worship was going on there it was a very magnificent and a splendid structure so much gold silver and all kind of um uh, all kind of uh, material used for that and uh, we know that 600 i think 635 bc nebuchadnezzar babylonian king came and uh, he destroyed the temple and they didn't have a temple for a long time and then uh serubabel came back from the babylonian captivity and esra uh, in esra nehemiah and uh, oh, we read that in zechariah also serubabel came and uh, they rebuilt the temple and uh, um it was not that magnificent like the previous temple the people uh, who saw the previous temple cried when they saw the new temple but it was another temple and uh, that temple continued until our lord's time and and uh, we know that herod made uh, uh, you know reconstruction of that and all when our lord was there that was the temple there and the, when um the disciples came and asked lord, uh, lord oh how how beautiful is the construction and the lord said uh, do you do you see all these stones not one will be over another stone it is going to be destroyed and we know that 
uh, AD 70, uh, uh, Romans came and destroyed the temple. And uh, there is not even one stone over it. So it's all destroyed. But here, John is asked to go and measure the temple of, the, of God. That means there will be a, another temple in Israel or in Jerusalem when these things happen. And, and we know that we are the temple of God the, uh, in the New Testament time. We are the temple. And this temple will be removed from here. That is what we, uh, uh, in, in Revelation, we, uh, we looked at. Um, John was asked to write what you see and what, what you saw and what is now and uh, the things hereafter. So after the church is raptured from here, later in the, uh, in the time, we see that this chapter 11, John was told to measure the uh, temple. So that means sometime before the midpoint of the tribulation, Israel will build a temple mm -hmm. in Jerusalem and start worshipping like the previous one, the Levitical worship system. Verse 1, we, we read that. There was given me a measuring rod like a staff, and someone said, get up and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship in it. So he has asked to measure the altar and those who worship in it. And he was told that, verse 2, leave out the court which is outside the temple and do not measure it for it has been given to nations and they will tread underfoot the holy city for 42 months. <clears throat> now we know that in that, in that place in uh, Jerusalem, there, is a, there, is a, there are two mosques. One is the Dome of the Rock and the other one is the Al-Aqsa Mosque. That portion, that portion of land is, they say it is 36 acres of land. And they already took most of the land there, but there is uh, 12 more acres of the land north of this Dome of the Rock. And we know that Israel won't build a temple any other place other than this place. And uh, uh, if you learn more about these temples, uh, people are saying that there is still, in that 12 acres, still there is a place for a Jewish temple. And they say that that is the exact place where the old temples were there. So even, even if the Muslim did not allow them or, or they can make another temple or north of the Dome of the Rock in the Temple Mount itself. And uh, we know that this temple will be built. We know that this is the temple uh, we call this, it's, a, it's the uh, uh, temple at the tribulation. So he measured the uh, temple and it was told that leave out the court which is outside the temple and do not measure it for it has been given to nations and they will tread under foot the holy city for 42 months. You know that 42 months is three and a half uh, years. 
That also, we know that the tribulation is seven year period. And after we, we saw that after the rapture of the church, we basically know that God will stop the dealing with his grace period and we start dealing with the Jewish people. But we know that after the rapture of the church, the, uh, the church is gone from here. Not the next day, the tribulation is going to start. Uh, so we know that when it will happen, The tribulation period begins when Antichrist making a covenant with Israel for seven years. The one week of Daniel 9.27, we know that. And uh, 9.27, we, we read like this. And he will make a firm covenant with many for one week. And in the middle of the week, he will put a stop to sacrifice and grain offering and on the wing of abominations will come one who make desolate, even until a complete destruction, one that is decreed is poured out on the one who make desolate. This seven year period is divided into two equal parts, the three and a half years, three and a half years. First three, three and a half years is called, seven years is called tribulation, and the second is called the Great Tribulation. Um, uh, we know that. Uh, the first three and a half years, Israel will live in peace, protected by the Antichrist. But at the midst of the tribulation, after three and a half years, uh, that is what we read in Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 and he will make a uh, and he will make a firm covenant with many for one week this antichrist will make a uh, covenant or a, or a treaty with the jewish people and so many other people in this world because you know that when the church is gone from here it is chaos there won't be like uh, countries like this. Uh, remember, uh, uh, United States of America. Now we can say this is the our country is the greatest country in the world. Now it is going to. It won't be like this if it goes like this for a long time. But now this is what uh, we see. But if the Christians, the Lord's people, will move from here. There is so much chaos in the whole world. All of a sudden, so many people, millions of people, all the people who believe in the Lord Jesus, trust in Lord Jesus Christ will move from here. And then chaos. When this particular guy come mostly from the European uh, area they will come he will come and he will try to offer uh, solutions to the problems of this world and uh, that is what we we heard and he will make a firm covenant with uh, many for one week including the the jewish people and they were waiting for their messiah and they think he is the true messiah and uh, they uh, sign, all the, the world will sign the treaty and uh, for seven years, it's a trust seven year treaty. And probably at that time, he make an offer for the Jewish people to build the temple. So he said, oh, it's a good, uh, he may say, it's a good thing. So you want to get the, temple done, it is in your temple mount. Let the mosque stay there, the other place. You know, that is where exactly the uh, your old temples were. So we can build a temple there. And there, they 
make a temple, but here it is said that do not measure the court, the courtyard, leave it for the um, Gentiles. That is what we read in verse 2. And uh, the Gentiles people will tread the city for 42 months. So if you want to know more about this temple, you know, you can, even in the, you can look, look, look into the Google and you can see how there are, even now people are telling uh, Israel can build a temple with the mosque sitting there on the north of it, and they can live um, in together. There will be a, uh, in uh, Ezekiel, we read that there is a wall in between that, the the court and the, you can, you can go and read all those things if you want, but there will be a temple and uh, um, the temple worship will start. That is, that three verses give a glimpse of what will happen during the first half of the uh, tribulation period, that three and a half time. And then the temple and the two witnesses. Then we are told that God will send two witnesses, verse 3 onwards. <clears throat> and I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1260 days. That is three and a half uh, years or 42 months. And they, they will be clothed in sackcloth. God uh, is telling here, he's going to send two witnesses and they will prophesy for the three and a half years. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of earth. And if anyone wants to ham them, fire flows out of their mouth and devours their enemies. So if anyone wants to ham them, he, he must be killed in this way. <clears throat> this have the power to shut up the sky so that rain will not fall during the days of their prophesying, and they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every plague as often as they desire. So these are the two witnesses uh, they are talking about, Randu Sachigal, Randu Pravajagan Mare. Who are they? We are, giving, we are given few specifics about these two individuals. They will be given authority for three and a half years. That is one thing. During that time, God will protect them from any harm and given special power to call down plagues and judgments on their adversaries. That is what we see that if, if anybody uh, want to harm them, they will they, uh, they will be killed by fire and the plagues because the symbols of two olive trees and two lamp stands uh, lamp stands correspond directly to the symbols representing Zerubbabel and Joshua in Zechariah 4 it may be that the testimony of the two witnesses will somehow relate to the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. Probably we can go back and read Zechariah chapter 4 and uh, uh, this, uh, uh, these are the two olive, olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. It says that uh, there we can see uh, uh, Zerubbabel and uh, Joshua, the high priest and uh, Zerubbabel uh, they 
came together and to build the um, uh, temple and all, we know that. So, most importantly, the miraculous authority given to these two witnesses by God is similar to that of Moses and Elijah and other Old Testament prophets dem uh, demonstrating the uh, crucial nature of their ministry. Because they said if anybody wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouth and devour the, their enemies. That we can see Elijah did the same way. But this, we don't know who are they, who these people are. We saw Eli, uh, Moses and Elijah came in the uh, uh, and talked to our Lord Jesus Christ in the Mount of Transfiguration. But we don't know. It is not said they are Moses or Elijah, but they are similar to Moses and Elijah. Some people say they are uh, uh, Enoch and Elijah because they are the two people who came into this earth and went to heaven without dying. So they say in a, um, uh, Hebrews chapter 9, we, uh, we are told that once uh, they are appointed for one, once die and then judgment. But, you know, when the rapture comes, you know, there are so, so many, many millions of people who does not go through, uh, uh, through death. So we do not know who are these people. We are give, so some people say it's a Moses and Elijah. Some people say uh, Enoch and Elijah, but we do not know. Uh, so in the end, we must exercise uh, the prudence that we do not know who they are, but they are sent by God to witnesses to look like Old Testament prophets because their clothes and their uh, dealing with the, uh, their enemies. So they, God has given power to them. They will prophesy for three and a half uh, years. <clears throat> and then verse 7. When they have finished their testimony, so the ministry of these people were three and a half years, and until then, nobody could kill them, nobody could do anything. Three hundred two years, right? What? When they have finished their, the beast, no, that's a, When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes out of the abyss will make war with them. No, they are, they are not, it's for three and, three and a half years, but then they are killed. They, their dead body will be in the streets of Jerusalem for three and a half days. But their, test, their ministry is for three and a half years. And when that portion is done. Their um, ministry is done. When they have finished their testimony, God allow them to be destroyed or killed. So, uh, so that is true with the uh, all God's people. You know, God has given as a plan or God has a plan with our life in this world. We won't die until that plan is fulfilled. I don't know. People are dying early. God, they worked for God, their plan is done. But God will not take you home until his desired work in you is done. That is what we have to learn from here and everywhere. We, we know that uh, in um, 
uh, in the where we read that ningalil nalla pravartigale aarambichavan yesu christuvinte naalolo adane ettiyekkum if god has started a work in you he will fulfill it that is wonderful to know that so when they have finished their testimony or their ministry verse 7 the beast that comes out of the abyss will make war with them and overcome them and kill them this is the first time in the book of revelation this character is uh, uh, mentioned beast the beast there are 36 times the beast is uh, uh, told uh, beast the beast is written in the rest of the revelation in the other chapters this is the first time the beast that comes up out of the abyss will make war with them we know that this is the antichrist uh, apostle john wrote in his uh, uh, epistle about uh, uh, this antichrist and in next chapter and all we see the uh, work of the antichrist and the false prophet and the dragon you know the satanic trinity and all we come and we come see this those things later and their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city which mystically is called Sodom and Egypt where also their lord was crucified he is going to kill these two witnesses and their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city which mystically is called Sodom uh, and uh, uh uh sodom and egypt and where the, their lord is crucified those from the people and those from the people and tribes and uh, tongues and nations will look at their dead bodies for three and a half days and will not permit their dead bodies to be laid in a tomb and those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and celebrate and they will send gift to one another because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth so this these people dead and they are lying in the streets of uh, jerusalem and we are told that nobody will bury them and we we read that all the people of the earth will see them all the people on the earth was they were all watching the ministry of these people but when they are dead everybody was happy because um these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth but after 3 days and a half 3 and a half days the breath of life from god came into them and they stood on their feet and great fear fell upon those who were watching them and they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them come up here then they went up into heaven in a cloud and their enemies watched them and in that hour there was a great earthquake and a a tenth of the city fell 7000 people were killed in the earthquake and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the god of heaven this is what we read about the ministry of these two witnesses and it was told that all the people of the earth will see them if it was 50 years ago this was not possible but now we know that wherever whatever happened anywhere anybody can see right away because now there are so many people you know we can see uh, the youtubers and the uh, 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 the other news outlets they have live cameras everywhere 
and uh, now for three and a half days every people in the planet will see this two ministers or two prophets dead and uh, laying in the streets nobody even bothered to bury them if it is jewish people they usually bury them in the same day itself but they but they were watching all these people were watching and rejoicing mm -hmm. and they were um, giving gift to one another so that they all rejoice because these people who tormented them they are dead but after three days the um the life from god came into them they stood up and they, it was told that they heard a voice come up here then they went up to heaven in the cloud and their enemies watched them and in that hour there was a great earthquake and uh, this this is going to happen during the tribulation period ee rendu saakshigala anna annulla janathe avar avaroda suvishesham parayunnadino avarkku devathinte valigale udheshichu kodukkunnadino okke devam ayacha rendu saakshigala nalle avare അവരുടെ പ്രവർത്തനം കൊണ്ട് യാ അധികം ഒന്നും പ്രയോജനം ഉണ്ടായി എന്ന് നമുക്ക് കാണുവാനായിട്ട് കഴിയുന്നില്ല എന്നാൽ അവസാനത്തെ വാക്ക് വായിക്കുന്നത് അവർ ജീവിച്ച് സ്വർഗത്തിലേക്ക് പോയപ്പോൾ അവരെല്ലാവരും ഭയപ്പെട്ടു മാത്രമല്ല അവിടെ വായിക്കുന്നത് ദ ഗീവ് ഗ്ലോറി ടു ദ ഗോഡ് ഓഫ് ഹെവൻ വി ഡോ നോ ദ റിപ്പെൻഡഡ് ആൻഡ് ഗീവ് ഗ്ലോറി ടു ദ ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഹെവൻ ഓർ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദയർ ഫിയർ ദ ഗീവ് ഗ്ലോറി to the god of heaven and then there happened an earthquake one tenth of um the city which is we are talking about jerusalem uh is destroyed and and they said 700 here it says 7 7000 people died on for on that earthquake but now we have seen bigger earthquakes now in the in a uh, 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 yeah um, and uh, uh, so both that countries so more than 50 55000 people died and all i i i heard it recently so god is still working on people's lives what we have to learn from these things if we do not accept christ in this grace period in this time that it is very difficult to get uh, very difficult to believe in that period but if you never heard the gospel before there are so many people in the in the tribulation um they will came they will come to the lord but most of them uh die from this uh people they they most of them uh will be killed and uh, but they, they they will be all with the uh, uh our lord later so make sure at least the people in our family people which we know our friends and relatives hear the gospel before this happens so we can tell them you know we are not saving anybody but we are asked to tell the good news we have to tell the good news and the lord is the one who saves people so next time we go we go for the next a few verses in that chapter now 
we have 15 minutes we'll we'll have a, a prayer so let's pray one more time <clears throat> 